Uh -huh. MLB the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Milwaukee Brewers. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Singing today, of course, will be treated to the sausage race and some really good baseball. Yeah, these fans love their Brewers, and I love the way they run the show here in Milwaukee. I mean, the fans are into it. They bring it just about every home game, and there's a lot of fun tradition carried on in this ballpark, as you mentioned. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Freddie Peralta. How about a scouting report on him? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The wind of the pitch. That misses, and it's 1-0. And there's a foul ball. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Fraley going back. Leaping. Can't haul it in. Round second, digging for third. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. Everything came together for him. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Here's Andres Jimenez. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Quad at third with nobody out. And that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And now three and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And he deals. Line drive. Makes the grab. Runner tagging and heading for home. The run comes across and the Guardians score first. It's 1-0. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up he'll find a hole. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And Cleveland on top one zip. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Yelich should have it. Calls it in for the out. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Josh Naylor. On the ground to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Strike two. And there's a ball. 
Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. And another ball. It's a good take. Popped up. Adamas settles underneath it. Hauls it in to end the inning. But they push across one run on one base hit. No errors and no one left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Guardians one and the Brewers coming to bat. Back here in Milwaukee and starting this one Shane Bieber. Chris how about a scouting report. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Now, Christian Yelich. The pitch. That misses. Ball one. Just missed. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Out of line, out towards center. Yelich out of the play. And there's one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident. William Contreras, batting with one down, takes the strike. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And makes the grab. And there's two away. Batting third, the right fielder. Down. So up next, Sal Fraley. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Loriano sprinting after it. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Fraley got his way to third. And this is going to be a two-out triple. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Runner at third, two gone. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And a good eye there. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Right hander kicks deals. Just missed. Fraley on third with two out. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Willie Adamas in the on deck circle. Three, two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. 
in to score as the runner from third. It's 1-1. Safely into second. He's got a double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Willie Adamas stands in. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. Man at second. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. That one misses. And the count is two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Brewers pick up a run on this RBI double. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Peralta back to work. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Peralta, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Fought off foul. This guy at the dish excels in two-strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. the pitch just misses and that's ball two really good slider he's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away swings through it and that's a strikeout well you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have even if you do get to it it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair you're just going to make it a long strike at best you have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it. And that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere and it's not foul. Bo yeah. Naylor in the box now. No balls and a strike. Peralta certainly has electric stuff considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeouts a big part of his game. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes. And he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. And a foul ball, he stays alive. So when you look at that, she's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs. But she's so consistent that you look up. By the time she gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning. And there's one or two runs on the board at most. Two outs, base is empty. So in now for Cleveland, Will Brennan. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Missed inside with the curve. Tied up here in the early going. In the air, left side. Yelich should have it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We go to the bottom of the second. Tied one apiece. And we're back, bottom of the second. And stepping in is the speedy Garrett Mitchell. Here comes a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Oh, 
Going to now. Got him. And there's one down. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Jackson Chorio stands in now and watches strike one. One out, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. In the air, right field. And that's a fair ball. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Punch that ball down the opposite field line, just barely able to keep it fair, but once it dropped in, he was off and racing for the triple. So one gone with a runner at third. Next for the Brewers, Bryce Terang. That's in for a strike. No ball, one strike. And that one fouled off. One away with a runner at third. Bottom half of inning number two. That one missed. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. And another ball. This one high in the air to left center. Squeezes it. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's 2-1. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. So two down now, and here is Andrew Monasterio. And first offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And there's the strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Brewers two and the Guardians one. Back here at American Family Field, top half of the third inning, here's Brian Rocchio. Peralta back to work. Just missed. Rocchio getting to start at shortstop in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. That one ripped but foul. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Close, but called a ball. Ball two. And down on strikes. 
And there's one away. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. So digging in, Miles Straw. That clips the corner. Kicks and fires. Just missed. The Brewers up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's outside. And it's two and one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Oh, what a stop. Fires to first. He's in there. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. And up next for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Check on the runner. That's to third. Slides for the stop. Goes to second. Safe there. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 1 so far. There's the swing and a miss. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering misses and one and one. And he swings through that one. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. So first and second with two outs. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1. That one catches the corner for a strike. Two on, two outs. And fouled off. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. here in Milwaukee ready to go for the last half of the inning now the left fielder Christian Yelich the pitch swing and a foul straight back left hand batter waits check swing he went too far and it's a strike Just missing there, and the count is one and two. On the ground, Naylor. And he handles it himself for the out. And now it's William Contreras. Flied out his first time. And there's the strike. 
All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. Two outs, space is empty. Up now for Milwaukee, Sal Fraley. He tripled and scored his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Chris, where does this Brewers glove logo rank for you all time? I'd say for me, it's right there in the top five. I mean, their logos and, and everything is sort of your personal experience, but ball caps that we had around the house, Montreal Expos growing up, Milwaukee Brewers, that Philadelphia Philly where the, the red was a deeper red, more of that burgundy. Uh, but those were just iconic logos. And so because of that early impression, they stay in my top five. Man at first. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers. Doubled in his first A.B. Bieber checks the runner, and he dives back in safely. I think it's one of the best all time. An art student at UW-Eau Claire created it. It is super creative, and I think one of the better logos we have in the sport. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. This one popped up right side. Jimenez sizing this one up, and that's the inning. Brewers strand one as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Josh Naylor. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And yeah, that one clips the corner. You know, these Guardians doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. He goes down looking. Away, away, away. And clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And. That should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Loriano comes up to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That misses off the outside edge. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. One down, base is empty. Close one, doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Oh. That clips the corner. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 oh changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Fouls one off, two and two. The Brewers leading by a run, top half of inning number four. Swing and a bouncer. Flips it out on the underhand toss. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Bo Naylor at the plate now. His first at bat was a strikeout. Missed with a changeup, ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. And the pitch. On the ground to the left, Adamas. Tosses the first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, and our score remains 2-1.
And we're back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Willie Adamas. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Brewers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Toss to Naylor, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Here's the Brewers DH Garrett Mitchell and yeah, that's outside one and oh nasty backdoor slider there's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it so that's a good take by him and yeah, there's a ball. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Outside and now three and oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Line drive caught that swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit but he made solid contact and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Two outs base is empty next for Milwaukee Jackson Chorio. First pitch misses. in there at the knees well at that velocity if that's all you're seeing 88 you can handle that all day long that's what you get in batting practice but off the velocity of the fastball that is a very tough pitch to adjust to that one fouled off two and two swing and a miss struck him out and good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nobody left for Milwaukee. They lead it 2-1. Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Will Brennan. The why to kick the pitch fastball for a strike you know these Guardians need to bring up the quality of their at bats and specifically their swings just one extra base hit for them so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park that makes it really difficult to generate runs next pitch is outside spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another him looking and he did not like the call well he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command not walking opposing batters you know this offense they've got to find a way to break his rhythm put the bat on the ball maybe try to bunt for a base hit get him off the mound moving around step out something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys and a pitch the shortstop takes the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And a swing and a miss. The 2 2. Right side, hard hit. 
Terang over to first in time. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw reached on an infield single his first time. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is outside. Hit in the air, right field. Fraley makes the catch in and over. We head to the bottom of the fifth. This is Bryce Terang. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Kicks and deals. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it's caught for the out. The left fielder, number 22, Christian. Back to the top of the lineup. Christian Yelich getting ready to hit. Popped up left side. Yelich out of the play. And that's the third out. Brewers go down quietly, but they still lead it two to one. Back here in Milwaukee, top of the sixth inning. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Righty to the plate. And now two balls and a strike. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. One up, one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So up next, Andres Jimenez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ripped on a line. Fraley makes the grab, and there's two away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Ramirez in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Offense held a check there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers two and the Guardians one. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. Bieber back to work. 
Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Line drive. Pulls it in on the run. One away. The right fielder, number 10. So digging in, Sal Fraley. Fraley measures 5 feet 10 inches, 23 years old. A former first round pick in 2021. And there's the strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Bounce to third. Throws to first in time. And a couple of quick outs. The first baseman, number 12, Reed. Hoskins. Two outs, base is empty. Reese Hoskins digs in now. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. And takes low for ball one. Fastball for a strike. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That one just misses. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Top of inning number seven. Now the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Obi Milner getting loose out there. Uribe warming up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches. And I mean make an educated guess. He'll do it himself. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Here's Ramon Laureano. And that one hammered back there. Forget it. He muscles that one out the opposite way. And this game is tied. It's 2-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. So one out, nobody on. At the play, Bo Naylor. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. All tied up here at the top half of inning number seven. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, and two down. One down, base is empty. And downstairs. And misses inside. Yeah. 
got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And next is the designated hitter, Will Brennan. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Chorio under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Solo shot for the Guardians this inning. 2-2 game. Bottom of the seventh. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. And a pitch. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. A one down. Fastball for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Fly ball down the line. And it drops in. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. So here's the Brewers DH. Garrett Mitchell. Fought off foul. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Nick Sandlin up and throwing. Karen check also throwing and the righty deals waves at the bender for the strikeout well obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate and people at home watching are thinking what's he swinging at but I'll tell you some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating it can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up So up next, Jackson Chorio, one for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Go ahead, run at second. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Fastball for a strike. The pitch. Slider misses outside. And now two and two. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base, but job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. So, two down now, and here is Bryce Terang. That one hammered, but pulled foul. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Good eye right there. Now 
at the belt and fires. And a count one and two. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Andrew Monasterio up next for the Brewers. Man at second. Right through there. Got him. Third out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Brian Hudson. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio. As the lefty gets to work, that one down the line and foul ball. The pitch. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone. Elevated a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Straw in the box now, takes strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Bases empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next pitch is outside. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. The next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. Action in the pen down there. Colby Milner preparing to come on if needed. Piguero, the right hander, also getting loose. On the ground, Terang. In plenty of time to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Steven Kwan, the next to hit. And a foul ball left side. And that one is lifted in the air. Yelich should have it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nick Sandlin. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. A wind in the pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. In there! Got him looking for the K. 
Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Here's Yelich at the dish. Ball one, no strikes. In the air, left field. Quan heads after it. He's got it. Two down. Now William Contreras up now for the Brewers. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Eli Morgan getting ready to go. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pitch in the dirt, and the count even one and one. And that one missing low. Next pitch is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That ball's carrying. Going gone. That's worth the price of admission. It's 3 2. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two down, and now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Inside, just missed. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. One ball, one strike. And another ball. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the right hander deals. Caught him looking for the K. But the Brewers add one with a solo shot. Last chance coming up for the Guardians.
We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Joel Pyams. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. That one missing inside. Bounce to the right side. Fires over to Hoskins. Just got him. And he was burning up the baseline. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! He leaves the yard to right, and we are tied. It's 3-3. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. And that one fouled off. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Bounce to the left side. On the run, sends it over to first. Got the out. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. He's already homered in this game. Slider clips the zone. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Taylor Clark up and loosening in the pen. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the top of the ninth. And he grounds one back up the middle. Gets it to first, and Laureano is retired. And the inning is over. Solo homer to tie it for Cleveland. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. James Karen check. Now pitching for the Guardians. Number 99. James Karen check. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. One for three. three. Austin. And the pitch. Just missed. Right hander kicks deals. Swung on, belted. That one carry. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now that Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The shortstop takes the ball. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. 
tosses to first, and they get it Damas for the out. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Next to hit, Garrett Mitchell. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. He flexes his power with that swing, and the Brewers walk it off for the win. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. For the victorious Brewers, four runs, seven hits, no errors, they left three runs.